O'Brien with a national news briefing. New South Wales recorded less than 200 COVID cases for the first time in almost three months. 177 is the official stat with one death. Another milestone, in Victoria, 80% of residents are fully vaccinated and non-essential retail has opened back up this weekend. It's recorded 1,036 new infections and 12 deaths. Meantime, the Queensland government has warned unvaccinated residents today is the last day to get a jab so they're fully protected when the borders open on December 17. It's not just a race now, it's a sprint. There's lots of uh, opportunities to get vaccinated. Now is the time for every single person who's been not getting around to it or whatever, this is the time. Minister Mark Bailey there. The Sunshine State is also without a Chief Health Officer, with current CHO Dr Jeanette Young set to become Governor tomorrow and her replacement pulling out last minute. Paddy Newton has faced the media following the death of her husband Bert. The television icon died overnight at the age of 83 following a long health battle. Paddy says she wasn't with him when he took his last breath. Victorian Premier Dan Andrews has confirmed Bert will be farewelled at a state funeral and a celebration of the entertainer's life will be aired tonight on Nine. And Collingwood player Jordan Dugowie has spent the night in a New York City jail cell after he and a friend were charged with forcible touching and assault following the alleged groping of a woman at a nightclub. Open your ears to a new world of audio, radio, podcasts, music and news. Catch Carrie and Tommy and much more on Listener. Download the new app and listen for free. Australia has suffered its first loss of the T20 World Cup going down to England. Skipper Aaron Finch has told Fox Cricket England's bowlers use the conditions to their advantage. They all bowl well and they put us on the back foot early. That's why they've been best in the world for a while. The Aussies now need to defeat the West Indies and Bangladesh in the two remaining matches to guarantee a semi-final spot. And Queensland Horse Incentivise has taken to Pakenham Racecourse to complete some light track work ahead of Tuesday's Melbourne Cup. The favourite will jump from Barrier 16 in the 24-horse field. Selling the family home, Miller, Juan and John put you first. This is SAFM Weather. Checking the weather for the limestone coast. It's partly cloudy with a top of 19 today. Sunny and 24 tomorrow. Mostly sunny with a top of 30 degrees on Tuesday. And for radio, podcasts, music and news, download the free Listener app. <laughs>